check our levels. So that's good. We seem to be. Did it? Um, has it come up on the? Uh, so it's automatically it's all live. All it's there, so. And it's recording. Um, should we hit the record on the camera as well? Yes. Yeah, I suppose that could wait till the last thing, I guess. Uh, so how do we see from this? We just turn it on, don't we? It should be there, actually. Maybe. Yeah. Here we go. So do you mind uh, helping me do a, a sound level over there by just um, speaking at... Speaking at a, a normal sort of volume, so yep. if you, you, you've got your, your meters okay and... Everything's good, it's not going in the red, it's okay. perfect. Fast, what if I speak a little bit louder? <laughs> yeah, <Is> that... <laughs> One, two, test, one, two. Yeah, and so you just climb into the... Uh... I don't think I get that loud anyway, so... That's good. I'm trying to very good at keeping them down. Keep, keep oh. uh... Cool. <laughs> Yes, I forgot the roof slopes. Oh dear, I've just killed. Let's see if it comes back. <laughs> oh, no, it's back. <laughs> yeah, is it still recording? Yeah. Okay, super. Have you hit record on the camera yet? So I did, and then I looked for playback, and so now it's on record. Okay. But we'll say it's good enough. Now, a few minutes to go, I suppose, five minutes.
Yes, but that's good. It's good that between two, two balls in the drive.
10-minute shows the last year and the year before, and this is the first full-length play. This play was developed at the Huntington Theatre in Boston, and this is another chance for Patrick to look at the play and see how he's going to develop it further. Uh, the other thing is, after the reading, uh, we're going to go to the pub around the corner. Uh, the reading's only in about an hour and 20 minutes, so I'd love to get your feedback. Fill in the feedback form, good or bad. And I'm serious here. I'm very American in this. We don't mind. It really doesn't matter because it is in development. And it's really important to know what people actually think. If you don't tell me or tell Patrick what the feedback is, we'll never know. Um, so thank you so much for coming, and I hope you enjoy the play. <laughs>
Hello? Oh, hi. You have missed your flight? No, I, I, I'm leaving from another gate. I was just sitting here, had some time to kill. I see. You are traveling. On oh, business. Back to Houston. What is your business? I work for NASA. I'm an astronaut. With the spaceships? Exactly. You go up into space? Just once. I, uh, I used to be on the shuttle. Payload specialist before they shut the program down. And the stars, do they look uh, different from up there? You've never imagined a sky so... so dark and so <coughs> full of light. And there are so many stars and they're so bright, it feels like you could just reach out and touch them. But you can't because there's so much glass between you and them. On the other side, it's cold and empty. There's not a soul for all of eternity. Uh, it sounds very beautiful and very lonely. Sometimes it is. I would, I would like to see the stars like that one day, inshallah. Someday. Would you, uh, would you like a coffee? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, Thank you. no. I am sorry. My name is Malik. This is not to disturb, I'm, not to disturb you. I, I'm, I'm just waiting for my flight. I am, I am bringing you a coffee. Oh, I, I should go to my gate. No, no, please, please, please. I bring you a coffee just the way you like it, yes? The way I... Two sugars, two creams. This is the way you like it, yes? How, how would you know that? Tori, a Dunkin' Donuts. She knew that is where you get your coffee, yes? This is also where I get my coffee. I do not like the Starbucks. Lots of people buy coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. You, you must be confusing me with someone else. This time of night, you like to get coffee sometimes. You do not sleep very much, I think. Two sugars, two creams. For me, this is just the start of the day. No, I, I don't know you. A cup of coffee. You don't know me. No, in, in friendship. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just passing through. I, I'm, I'm getting training here at, at MIT. That, that's why you see me. I, I'm, a, I'm a frequent flyer waiting for a flyer. A, a, an astronaut. The stars. You are not going to Houston. I, I have my bag. I'm, I'm here at the airport. I'm ready to go. You come here. You sit like you are going to fly. Lately you are here more. You act like you are here for a flight, <coughs> but you never go. I have a flight. Maybe you use an old boarding pass or perhaps you print it out on a computer. That, you are hiding, perhaps in a place where you can be seen, but not seen. I, I know what it is like to be invisible, but you, you have a choice. For me, it is my uniform, my skin, my English. The travelers here, they don't see you. The TSA, they don't see you, but Tori at Dunkin' Donuts, Carlos at the newsstand, they see you, I, I see you. You remind me of someone. And I wonder to myself, what is she doing here? Is she okay? Are, are you okay? I'm fine. What is, what is your name? Sarah. It's nice to meet you, Sarah. No one is supposed to know me. No one knows me it's here. It's okay. I'm only bringing you a coffee. Airports are the safest places on Earth, but No, no, now, no, no, no. It is still the same. It's not easy to find a place that's where you don't have to live. If I end up talking to someone, I, I can be anyone. I don't have to be me. Last week I was a sculptor. You can be anyone you want. I do not, I do not mean to disturb you to... It's quiet here. It's a place that's no place. That's what people think. That there is no here, here, but they are wrong. I love this place. People are on their best behavior. No one shouts or screams or hits. You are still safe. I love that airports have chapels. I go there sometimes. Uh, I go there too. Once I rode the bus between the terminals all day, blending in. It's like I'd vanished from the face of the earth. It was perfect. Someone like you should not disappear. I was fine. I, I was fine. What am I going to do? No, 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 no. I will go. I 
do not mean to ruin anything for you. I, I know what it is like to want to be away, to want silence. I have made a grave mistake. You must stay. I will go. No one will see you. I hope you will forgive me. Oh, God. 
It's a disaster. I'm going to have to start over. At least I know it fits. This is for me. You've been so kind. It's, oh. it's, it's cold out. <laughs> you, you need a hat. But, but this one is awful. I'm not sure where I went wrong. But you made it for me. I'll make another, a, a better one. I like this one. It's, it's, it's horrible. Please, please, give it to me. Until you make a new one, I will have this one. No one has ever made me a hat before. The next one will be better. Um. Sorry, you will think about what I said, about the cost and the cold? Yes, you, you need peace and sleep, mentally. I will. Jaden, let's go. I followed you from your job. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm, I'm going somewhere. I, I have a flight to catch. Where are you flying? Please, just get you out. Want to see family? There, there's no way they let you out already. My uncle plays poker with the DA. Just, please, just don't, don't touch me. You think I want to hurt you? Have I ever even said so much as boo to you? Last night, Franny and me, things just got out of hand. What do you want from me? Social services took Stella. I always said no kid of mine would ever end up with those assholes. And now they got her with some foster care bitch collecting 18 bucks an hour for every kid she pats on the head at night. Stella is my little girl. And now she's gone. Because of you. I can't help you. You're the only one who can. Talk to them. For any one press charges, but they won't listen to us. All part of a pattern, they keep saying, but that's not the way it is. For any of me, we're just human. That's all. She understands. I'd never hurt Stella. Everybody knows I'm a good father. I've seen Franny's bruises. Well, she gives as good as she gets. No, wait, please. I'll beg you. Talk to them. Just tell them. Please. Help us get our daughter back. Let's get up. Get up. You don't have to like me. I see the way you look at this. You think you're better than me? Yeah. I don't care. Just don't do this to Stella. I'm not. A little girl needs her parents. Sometimes life is hard, and your parents aren't there for you when you need them. Well, just tell them you made a mistake. Tell them you know you love our daughter, and that we'd never do anything for her. You never saw a bruise on Stella, did you? I've seen Franny. I hear through the walls. But Franny's back home now, and I'm looking after her. <coughs> She'll never forgive me without Stella. Maybe you shouldn't be forgiven. Maybe you should go fuck yourself. Franny won't stop crying. It's like a river of tears that sprout from her eyes and just keeps flowing and flowing. She's a mother. She's a mother, and you've taken away her daughter. I was trying to help. Well, you make things worse. But you can fix it. Can't you see? I can't. I, I can't fix anything. Not <coughs> for you, not for me. But you have to. You have to, or I'll... When you get back from your trip, you'll listen again through those walls. And you'll listen to the sound of a mother's heart breaking. Then you tell her. Then you tell her why you won't help her get her daughter back. I, I'm not responsible for your life. You stuck your nose in where it don't belong. Now you're part of it. I'm not. You enjoy your flight, Sarah. When you get back, I'll be waiting for you right here. And you will help me.
Yeah, we've been getting a lot of that lately. You said this one's no good. But, but I, I have a flight to catch. Please, please, I, I just need to get through. You got the wrong code. One is a technology gonna solve all our problems, huh? Please, I'll, I'll miss my flight. I'll go miss... back to the ticket counter and now straight it out. I, I, I can't go back out there. Sorry. Please, please, please. Okay, it, it's, it's been a hard, hard day. And last night, I, my neighbors and the, the people that I, I work for, they're so horrible. And the world is so... I just, I just need, I need to get through to where I belong. What I, please don't just stand. Please, I need to go. Please. Miss, Sarah, just calm down now. Sure. No, no crime. That does not work on me. I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't stop. I can't, I can't, I can't stop thinking about her. Babies are so fragile. Oh, I know it's hard to leave them. Impossible. You, you're, a, you're a mother. Yeah, Jim. Okay. He's grown. He's in Afghanistan. They never stop dropping you crazy, believe me. And you, daughter. I understand, but. Please, yeah. please just let me. I wish I could. Look, honey, I got 50 people behind you who are going to kill it. Oh, <laughs> step aside. But I, I really. Wait over there, all right? I'll see if someone can help. Next, burn pass an ID, please. You're back. Sarah. No more sun for you? What? This ticket is for Phil and not Phoenix. I've got close to a photographic memory. People think only idiots work here, but they underestimate us. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you're very intelligent. That's why they made me a supervisor. I remember thanks. Deep tech. I, I missed my other flight. My, uh, my, my boss called, and now he wants me to meet a whole other different client. Still end up missing your daughter. What? Oh, yeah, well, there's no way around that. I'm a mother. Not easy. You have a picture. No, not, not with me. I, I, I don't carry them. I, I left them at home. Right. Yeah, I didn't think so. Pete, come over here and take over from me. Yo, Pete. Pete, code A29. A29. If you could just come this way, please, Sarah. This, this is a real ticket. I, I just bought it. Come with me, please. Where are we going? Sarah, come this way, please. But I really need to just... Don't make me ask again. Once you please go the way it gets locked up. Put your bag on the table. I don't understand. Have you ever traveled outside the country? No. What are these? Knitting needles. <coughs> What's in here? My dinner. Always oh, happy dinner when you fly. Food is very expensive. Why is your ticket a one-way ticket? I, uh, I don't know when I'm coming back. Are you in a hurry to get out of town? I have meetings, a, a trip. You said your boss called, new clients all that. What kind of company is this? Uh, um, a mattress company. I do graphic design. Well, no, I, I mean, I, um, I, I meet with hotel chains and, uh, and advise them on, on mattresses. And ho hotels buy a lot of mattresses. So my company, it, it's a... Uh... Are they engaged in something they should not be? How do you mean? Take off your car, dude. Your company, the things they do, the people you work for. Is it drugs? What? Raise your arms. Do they sell drugs? No, just just mattresses. Do they put drugs in mattresses? <laughs> no, there, there's no drugs. They're, they're rude, they're cruel, they say things they, that people shouldn't say. Do they make you do things you shouldn't do? No, I, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm, I'm going to quit. But you're still flying for them. I need to go to my gate. I really need to go. Why? Have I done something wrong? Have you? No. No. <coughs> Did you check any load? No. I don't have much, if anything. You lie to me, Sarah. I need to get to my gate. Lying to a federal security officer is a crime. I bought a ticket. Punishable with a fine and jail. Ask at the counter. I was just there. It was all the money I had. There's another room. 
where you will have to take off all of your clothes. If you ever lie to me again, you will go to that room. And it will be a long time before you come out. Why are you doing this to me? Aren't you a mother? You ask me just like that. And the tears. Let me ask you, are you a mother, Sarah? Are you? That's what I thought. Don't lie to me. Don't pretend to be a mother. Am I clear? I'm sorry. Do we understand each other? Yes, I understand. OK, then. We're done. Have a nice life. You had a hard time at the security line. You heard? In this place, I hear everything, I see everything. You met Marlene. She can be very funny, but she is also very hard. Fierce. Maybe that is the word, fierce. She's a freaking psycho. Something has happened. I made the call last night. I, I had to do something. I had to. All night, Terry and Fran were screaming at each other. The banging and the crashing over and over and over again. I picked up the phone. Should I call? What will Terry do to me if I call? He'll know it was me. All night, dishes breaking, doors slamming. Are their fingers in the jam? The phone was in my hand and the baby was crying, screaming. So, so I called. What's your emergency? That's how they ask. What do I know for sure? I don't, I don't see, I, I just hear, but it's enough. Why did I wait so long? That's what they should have asked me. You should not go back. The cops let him go, just like that. He found me at the entrance to the terminal. <clears throat> I knew if I could just get through security, Franny's already gone back to him. He knows it was me. I'm safe here, but... I'll never get through security again. Not after all that bullshit with Marlene. He's out there, right now, waiting for me. He, he knows where I live, where I work. Don't go back. Not to the job, not to the apartment. I went to work after being up all night, and they were on my case. Why do you look like shit, Sarah? I tried to explain, but they mocked me. Used what happened as a joke, kept poking at me all day long, so I quit. Yet another failure in a string of failures. They were hurting you. How can I go back to any of it? Sometimes you cannot go back. Sometimes the door closes and you are not meant to open it again. I just, I just wanted to, the baby kept crying. I, I just wanted to protect her to do <coughs> what's best for her. I know, I know. Where will I go? We will find you somewhere safe. I need, I need, I need a gate where, where people will be stranded all night, where, where I can blend in. There, there are blizzards in the Midwest. What's a gate from Minneapolis? I know someplace better. You remember that room I told you about, the one with the cot inside where it is still there? No, I, I don't know. No, no. Do you think you are safe in your apartment? No. You will be safe here. No one will bother you. It is forgotten. You really think it's okay? As long as you are on this side of security, there is nowhere you can be more safe. Sarah, you are in danger. And now it is my turn to help you. We have a safe place for you. You will come with me, yes? Yes. I will give you the code. It is very peaceful there. You will be safe. Okay. We are not so far from the heart of the building. In the terminal, an airport seems like a quiet place, but... It's an illusion. Yes. You will, you will soon get used to the sound. What's this? Oh, something from a long time ago. It is the hand of Fatima. Maybe it will watch over you. <laughs> it, is, it is okay? Sure, it's, it's nice. Let me get, this isn't... Am I taking your bed? No. No, not now. There, there was a time where I used to sleep here, but now I have my own apartment. It is not much bigger than this. 
Are you sure this is all right? Yes, yes. You should not worry. You worry too much about other things. This is okay. When you need a shower, you can go to the Admiral's Club. I work till that night. I have the code. No one will see you. I don't want to get you into trouble. I make a great many things run smoothly in this airport. You would not think so. People look at me, they say, oh, there is Malik with his broom. He is nothing. It's not what I think. Uh, there are people in this world who like to be seen. I am not one of those people. I have been here a long time, and there are some things that I know, and this room is one of those things. I changed this door when I was sleeping here. There is one lock on the outside. I have the only key, here is a copy, and there is this lock on the inside. When you turn it, no one can come in from the outside. No one will disturb you. Okay? Okay. okay. There, there's something I, I need from my apartment. It, it's small, but it's... Sometimes the small things are the most important, but if you leave, Sarah, this man, he's waiting for you, and Marlene, she knows you now. Know. You will never be able to return. I know, but I... We will find a way of getting you your things. Maybe I can go and get them for you. It's too much to ask. Ah, you are not asking. I am offering. Stay here tonight, and I will get your things in the morning. It will all be okay. Please. I don't know what to say. It's been a long time since... Thank you. Uh, this is not just for me, not just for you, it is for me. It will make me feel better to know that you are safe. Please, rest. Okay. You will be safe here.
all of them. And this is not a missing bag. This is not a locked bag. It is not a stolen bag. Yes, this is what I tell them. I am not a thief. No, you are not. Yes, thank you. Can I go now? But if you're not a thief, what are you? I'm a janitor. I clean. It's just clothes and shoes and a hairbrush and toothpaste. Yes. Why? Why what? Why did you have it? Where were you going? Where are you taking it? I do not understand. Don't bullshit me, my lady. Your English is almost as good as mine. Where is she? Who? Your daughter. I thought that. That's who it is, right? Now she walks. The style's too young. Is she hiding out? Sneaking into the country to see her long lost papa. Maybe sets her up. Something sensible to start out. Is she here? No. On her way somewhere else. You're smuggling her into the country. This is for your daughter. Please. Please. Where's your daughter, Malik? I do not know. Where is your daughter? I cannot say. You tell me. I will make you tell me. You will never see the light of day again if you don't tell me. I swear to God. Where Please is your daughter? stop. Where is she? You want to help her. You can't help her. You can't hide her. You tell me where she is and maybe it won't be so bad. But you gotta tell me. Where is she? Where is she? Where is your daughter? Dead. My daughter, she is dead. She died. She was seven years old. I was here. They were there. I did not want to be a soldier anymore, but I could not do the thing they asked me to do, so I, I left. I was trying to find a way to bring them over, but sometimes children die in a war, and, and their fathers are not there to bury them. I wish you were alive. So do I. Look, but I... You made a mistake. I am not a thief. I didn't think you were. I never I think, I think you should let me go now. I have work to do. There are places that need to be cleaned. Yeah, okay, you go back to work. I'll keep this to remind me. You're telling me the truth, but you're not telling me what I want to know, and I don't like that, Lee. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. I'll be watching you. people and places, people I lost a long time ago. And it still hurts? Yes. But when I look at you, it helps. You are the one helping me. I don't. I'm glad. You are bright, like a candle. Fragile. Oh, me? <laughs> I'm tougher than you think. I've been through enough. Maybe we're not so different. Maybe not. Did you have any luck at my apartment? Yes, sir. I have failed you. What? Marlene. She has taken the suitcase with your things. She, she, she took she it? She brought me to our office. She had many questions. Well, what did you tell her? I told her nothing about you. You are safe, but, but I, have, I have lost your things. They're gone? Yes, she has the suitcase with everything. She has the envelope? No, no. I, I could not find it. But it should have been on the nightstand. On the milk crate by the bed. It, it, it should have been right there. I looked hard. A white envelope. There, there were some photos in it. You're sure it wasn't there? I did not see it. It, it had to be there. It, it, it was there. Marlene does not have it. Just to close. How can it not be there? How? It, it, it has to be. It is hard not to have your things, but Marlene does not know. She does not know that you are here. I'll have to go and look for it. No. No, no. I have seen this man, this Terry. At your apartment building, I have seen him also here in the airport. You saw him here? This morning, yes. Outside the terminal, pacing like a jaguar. There must be some way I could get past him. What did his wife look like after he had finished beating her? She was a bloody mess. And he loves his wife. He does not love you. He thinks you are taking his daughter to, to lose a daughter. She's the end of the world. Yeah. And he blames you. Such a man will stop at nothing. I did the right thing. You did. And now, you must let me help you a little longer. Do not rush away, not now. I will try again, I will look harder. This is my mistake. For some mistakes, there is never a remedy, but this I can do. You will let me fix this mistake, yes? I will 
get you some clothes, and then tomorrow, as soon as I can, I will go back to your apartment. I will find your envelope. I will look hard. Some things I can't afford to lose. I understand. But I must be careful that he does not see me. And you must be patient. Can you be patient, please? I'll try. I will. You won't be fine. Okay. See that plane on the runway taking off? I see. Yes. Watch it. There it goes. Keep watching. All the way up. All the way, they go, they go so fast. Stay with it, focus on the light. See, see. Stay with it. Stay with it, it's still there. And now, it's gone. Like a star that disappears. But even after I can't see it, I know it's still there. It's still there. Yes. Sometimes we fuck it up. 
there are plenty of ways to mess up our kids. Whatever happened to Jimmy, it's not your fault. Here. Don't try to be not to me. Take it, please. <laughs> I'm going to miss your flight. You're testing me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. This isn't your airport, Sarah. It's mine. <laughs> Don't be here when I get back. Go bury your son. and an orange juice. A regular pretzel or low salt? Regular. Th that'll be a six seventy nine. Thanks. Uh, we have uh, mustard and honey, powdered sugar, ketchup. Who puts ketchup on a pretzel? Some people put it on everything, I guess. I know you. Maybe you're thinking of someone else. There, the knit. That was not thought. It was nothing. Don't think you changed anything. Okay. How are you? You might think you know me, but you don't. I know you though. Not even a little. What are you doing here? I work here. Since when? Not long. I don't like this. Well, you don't have to like it, but I work here. You shouldn't be here. And you should? I work here. Didn't they tell you to take some time off? Collect yourself to adjust? Where else am I gonna go? Ah. Uh, Don't. I could rip that down right out your throat. Ah, uh, this is my place. You can't help. Well, it's a lot better than being out there, isn't it? Where's your manager? He ran. He's here like once a day. We just serve pretzels and drinks. It's not exactly complicated. You should not be unsupervised. You're clearly a risk to passenger safety. Passenger safety? I need to talk to your manager. He's, he's not here. He shouldn't just vanish. People shouldn't just vanish. He, he's, he's just not here. He'll be back tomorrow. It's, it's OK. To take a breath. Go eat your pretzel. Drink your juice. Not from you. I will have to make a report. I will talk to your manager and his boss and his boss. I'm not bothering anyone. Why? I'm harmless. You're a rock in my shoe. Please. Whatever you're looking for, you can't find it here. Who's your supervisor? I am a supervisor. Who's your boss? He should know you're not ready to come back to work. I am ready. He won't think so. You know what he'll say. Take a little more time, Marlene. He'll feel sorry for you, just like the rest of them. And he won't think you're ready. You'll see it in his eyes. I'll find out his name, and I'm going to give him a call. He wouldn't dare. He's probably one of our customers. I'll tell him you were down here harassing the pretzel girl. He won't believe you. Yes, he will. Because they don't trust you anymore. They're watching for cracks. They know you've changed, but they just aren't sure how. I can't stay in that house for one more minute. I need to be here. And we have something in common. I'll be back for you, sis. got your thing from your apartment. I can see that. This is all right. <laughs> it's more than all right. I want to make it, it, it is not so good. It is not right for you to be in our closet. It is still the same, but maybe it feels a bit different. It does. It is, it is not. It's, it's not. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Did you find the envelope? It was not there. I don't understand. It's not everywhere. No one could have looked harder than I looked for that envelope. I would have found I, it. I don't know. It is gone. Gone. Are you okay? The photos. 
Even without them, you will remember. And no matter how much you remember, you cannot change what happened. I wouldn't. No. Even though your life has made you so sad. Sometimes I think I make a million different choices. That I go back to search out for the root that at one moment, one decision, and yank it out. But no one can go that far back without ceasing to exist. That's not a trade I'd make. Sarah, you are very wise for someone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wise? Me? Look at me, pretzel girl. There is no one who looks at me and says, oh, there goes Sarah, she's so wise. And there is no one who really sees you. But maybe tonight they will. Oh? I have something for you. What's this? I would like you to have it. I hope it's fit. Really? Will you, will you wear it? Put it on. I will buy you some dinner. We will go to the bonfire. You will eat a real meal. Even though it is in the airport, it is a real restaurant. No more pizza and pretzels for just one night. I don't mind pizza. You are safe here. And this is good. You must stay here. But you still can have a life. You will eat real food, you will smell beautiful flowers, you will wear a beautiful dress, you will see that where you are and who you are right now, right here. This is okay. The light. <coughs> and once you see this, the whole world, that will be open up for you. You make it very hard to say no. Ah, then it is working. Yes. Yes, you win. Let me try it off. It will fit. You will see. Shoot. I will wait for you. Marlene! Blake! Marlene! Blake? Marlene! What? Are we all friends now? I'm, I'm surprised to see you down here. Not many people are down here. It is a long way from the, uh, from, from the, the main... Yeah, not my world. Why are you here? I can go anywhere I want. Of, of course, yes. This is my airport. Yes, but it is late and, and you, you have... What's in there? Su supplies. For my cart, I keep it locked so no one can steal anyone, so no one can steal anything, so no one can put dangerous things in there. It, it's always locked, secure, very safe, very secure. Good. Why are you here? I wasn't looking for you. I would not think so. There is no reason. Exactly. I'm a little lost. Oh, well, I can show you. I'm not lost. I know where I am. Good. Okay. I am done filling my card, so I am leaving to clean. I work hard. I clean things. I see. I know. I remember you. I remember you. Why are you here? I was looking for you. You have found me. Now we can walk together, yes? No, I like it down here. Deep down, there's a, there's a hum. Everything cut out except for the heartbeat. It is not always quiet, but it is very peaceful. It's at the heart. You don't see it, but it keeps pumping. Hearts aren't meant to keep pumping. I should. I expected it to be lonely down here, but, but I don't know. I think I like it. For some people, it is OK. Do you get lonely and late? Me? Mm -hmm. Yes. I do sometimes. When that happens, is it better to just give in to? Sometimes. But looking into that pit, into the darkness, I'm, I'm afraid if I do, I'll, I'll never crawl out. Do you miss her? Your daughter? Of course you do. I'm stupid. I, I just... You were already apart when it happened, but you knew you'd see her again someday, and you had hope, and, and then... And then... And then it was gone. How long was it until you... I shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. A long time. Maybe only now do I start to feel my heart beat again. My son. I know what happened to your son. 
And is she? Your daughter. Still lives in you. Still the same. She's there, yes, but not the same. I am not the same. <coughs> For a long time, I did not let the world see how black I am inside. I stay good old Malik, but I am empty. And then one day, a light shines, and I start to be closer on the inside to what people see on the outside. Every day, this light in me grows. Well, I saw a cop and go and cram. But they wouldn't let me see his body. They wouldn't let me see him. I begged and I pleaded. But they, they said he wasn't pieces. Little bloody pieces. They don't understand what it's like not to see him one more time. I have the flag all neatly folded down on the kitchen table. Been there a week now. But can't bear to touch. That's what I have, a neat triangle of red, white, and blue. That's my son. Your son is gone. And you are broken, and nothing can put you back together again. Aren't you supposed to try and make me feel better? No. This is not why you come and look for me. I know not to try. Don't. Stay away from me. Come. Nothing. Just breathe. Listen to the world. The empty sound. Okay. 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 I was never here. No, you never talked to me. I'm fine. Yes, of course. You are strong. I, I should go. Yes, you have much work to do, and so do I. Yeah. Um. A little turn around. <laughs> it is very confusing down here. I, I will take you. Yeah. She must not find you. I locked the outside lock. You locked me in? I needed to take her away so she would not find you. And, and then what? You forgot about me? Of course not. I could never forget about you. Why didn't you come back? I was coming back, but then my boss, he sees me. I must do a job for him, and then another job, and then another. I, I hurry as fast as I can. I, I worry that they are watching me. I cannot be locked in. Do you understand? Yes, but I had to be careful. I came as fast as I could. You are safe. Don't lock me in here, never. I won't. I'm I won't. fucking serious. I understand, it was a mistake. Are we friends? Of course. Because I thought you were my friend. I thought all sorts of I things. I am, I am, I am. And friends don't lock each other in tiny little closets. I know. And then don't come back. Please, calm, please, be this calm. This is the kind of shit that always happens. Please, let's act like men believe, let's act like. This is crazy, this is my, this is my life, look. Uh, Look at you. Sarah, what am I doing? Sarah. I need to get out of here. Don't leave, please. Just, just do a gate for now. Don't be here when I get back. I... And don't follow me. Stop trying to help me, to protect me. Just, just stop. It's, it's my life, my fucked up, stupid, inconsequential life, and you can't fix it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Sarah, yes. I'm sorry. Tara! Oh, Terry. Glad I finally found you. You're not an easy girl to keep track of. You, you're not supposed to be here. You, you can't uh, be here. But, uh, here I am. You, you don't have a ticket. Neither do you. I think you 
I've been here this whole time. I followed that guy you sent for your stuff. You, you can't get past security. I got a cousin who works in baggage and you owe me a favor. Just, just leave me alone. I can't help you if you want your daughter back. I, I don't have anything to do with that. Don't you tell yourself? Granny was, was screaming. You were having a fight. I could hear. You don't know what you heard. The You've got a big imagination. The ambulance came. But she exaggerated. She was back on her feet in an hour. I've seen her bruises. Ask yourself, did you ever even talk to her about this? You think you did her a favor? You think she'll thank you? You put her daughter into foster care. No, you did. You did more harm to Franny than I ever could. I was helping. Didn't help Stella. I'll tell you that. And I never laid a hand on her. Tell that to her caseworker. They won't listen to me. Franny tells them they won't listen to her either. Well, maybe she's better off. Bite your tongue. Or I'll reach my hand in there myself and yank it out. I'll scream. Go ahead. Get us kicked out of here. We'll both be outside. I can drive you to the office. We'll be front of the line in the morning. I'm not going anywhere with you. Franny left. She went back to live with her mother. We're still not around. She can't even better look at me. Like I'm some horrible, deformed creature. It's the tears. They make some sort of funhouse lens. She can't see me straight. It's all distorted. I, I can't help you. You won't. I can't. I think you might. You see, I think you know something about losing things. Important things. The landlord and me, we went over to your apartment just to make sure nothing bad happened to you. Those, those belong to me. Oh, I know. Look at them. Almost worn thin like you looked at them a million times. Please. Look at her. So fragile. What was her name? Give them to me. Just a few hours old, yeah? And you. Even more like a child than you do now. She has your eyes. And your chin. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely see that. Darker skin, though. The daddy black? A little jungle fever for me, Sarah? I don't mean anything to you. Uh, what did grandma and grandpa say to that, eh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I call, I'm, I'm sorry. What happened to her? I made a choice. Even though it left a hole in your heart, you still picked up that fucking phone and took away my daughter? You are some. You know how it feels. I do. And what am I supposed to do now? Suffer. Just like the rest of us. Or get your act together and win her back. At least you still have a chance. You think so? Maybe. Liar. You think I got what I deserved? You think I'm scum? Maybe I am. I think I'll hold on to this. Don't, don't do this. You come and meet that office tomorrow. You walk in there and you say, I'm sorry I called. It was a huge mistake. Terry and Franny are wonderful parents. You help me get my Stella back, and I'll give you back what's yours. No. I should have called months ago, but I was a coward. I knew what would happen, I knew. I just pray to God my daughter didn't get placed with someone like you. Fuck you. I'll finish you. I'll finish you right here. Then we'll find out how much you really love Stella, because if you touch me, you will never see her again. For most of us, when we lose someone, they're gone for good. It doesn't have to be that way for you. Don't blow it. Uh, He's right behind me. Inside now. Oh, Lock you? the door. Lock the door. Time to finish our little talk, Sarah. You, the girl, the errand boy. I see you at the apartment. Go home. Fuck.
fuck off. What you want is not here. What I want is right behind that door. Go away. Get the fuck out of my way. Sarah, I'm coming to you, little mouse. You want your daughter. Oh, Sarah's got a big mouth. This will not bring her back. She bragged about what she did? So fucking high and mighty. I'll tell you one more time. Get out of my way. No. Stop. Sarah, open this door. I know you're in there. We'll talk. Open the door. Run away, little man. She's mine. <coughs> open this door. Sarah, open this door. We'll talk. Did you got the key to that door? You can't have it. Give it to me now. I swear to God, I'll kill you. You will never open that door. I said, give me the door. <laughs> Almost there, baby. And you can finish our little talk. Give me the key. Give me the fucking key. <laughs> Malik? Just a little me. Stop! Malik! Oh, fuck! Malik! Do not open this door! You had a daughter, and then you lost her. You son of a bitch. I know what you have inside of you. I will finish you. I will finish both of you. You will not take her away from me. Not this time! Malik! for a little while. Blood. Why, why is there blood? Please, please, please be calm. Are you okay? I am, I am okay. Where is Terry? He will not hurt you. What? He... No. No, let, let, let me out. Please, please, Malik. I, I will help you. I, I can help you. Okay, please, just let me out. Soon. Soon. Soon, but not now. I am sorry. You must wait. I will be back soon. Malik? Malik! Let me out! Let me out! You, you can't keep me here, please! Please don't leave me here, Malik! Let me out! You can't keep me here! Never laid a hand on me. Not yet. 
What am I supposed to say? All I want in the whole world is to keep her safe. So that's it. Watching over the poor little urchin. Tell me what happened. Don't keep lying to me. That's not who you want to be. You want to be more than just Sarah's lie. I no. Tell me. We all made mistakes. <clears throat> oh, I know I do. I let you go too many times. You kept making me wonder, what is it about her? Why do I keep seeing her? Why are you here? I thought I could mm. disappear. Well, you almost did. It doesn't have to make any sense to you. You don't have to lie anymore. I'm sorry if it offends you. That's it. You offend me. And you, you definitely offend me. I wanted to like you and leave, but you let me down. The world is a dangerous place. You know this. We try to keep them safe, and then we fail. If you had your son back, what would you do to protect him? Everything? Anything. Give me your keys and your badge. What is this? Blood. I, I, I hurt myself. You don't work here anymore. You go quietly. No HR, not a word to anyone. Just go. Understand? I understand. If I ever see you in this airport again, I'll see you port back to Algeria. I am an American. Good for you! Then I'll have you sent to an American jail and you will never see the sun again. Come right now. Yes. Just get out of my sight. Did he hurt you? Never. What's this blood? He told you. He's alive. So am I. If he hurt you, you can tell me. I can still find him for a little while. Whatever he did, we can. He tried to protect me. That's all. That's the way you want. It's the truth. I don't think you know very much about the truth. What's that he gave you? Just some photos. Of Let me see. I can't. Give them to me. Yeah. I didn't know. She is yours. I can see. Someone else isn't mine. She's she, she never really mine. Well, maybe. Maybe she always will be. Something in her. Something in you. Did she have a name? Sasha. I followed them after the final meeting. After I gave her away. I could barely walk, but I I followed them to the airport. I couldn't let her go. I couldn't and and then they were off. On their flight home. Home. All I could do was watch them go. What are you gonna do now? Something else. Do you have some place to go? Not really. No. Because uh, there's room in my house. In your house? It would be temporary, just on tips. It's very kind. But no, uh, I, I don't need to be here anymore. Fine. That's fine. I don't want to see you again. And if I hear even whisper, some Twitter tweet, Facebook post, email, or some anonymous post in the newspaper. No, you, you won't. I, I need my name. I assume this is yours. Is this for her? I'll take it. Monique. Get out. Please. On business, yes. What is it that you do? Malik. Maybe you are a sculptor or a surgeon. 
you know what it means to hold a man's heart in his hand, you know? I used to be a temp, doing graphic design for a mattress company. Oh. I'm not sure what's next. Maybe you will be, will be an astronaut. Yes, I see the stars. I brought you a coffee, two sugar, two cream. Just the way you like it. You shouldn't be here. No, but this place is not so easy to leave. And I needed to see you. Your hands are shaking. They are mine. And what they have done belongs to me. I'm not sorry that I called. But I am so, so sorry for what all of this I am the one who needs to be forgiven by so many. Maybe someday you will give this to me. I already have. I should not have. I, I'll let you. But I, I won't let it happen again. Not from anyone. Yes. Was this for your daughter? Thank you. She'll be watching over you now. You should not worry about me. You are going to fly. I bought a real ticket. I am glad for you. I'm ready. You are ready for a thousand flights. Before it in the office, in Marlene's office, I... I th there are many hard things in life. Goodbye is the hardest. Yes. Sarah, have a good life. Stay safe. Grow old. All of these things I wish for you. For you, I wish peace. Peace. Thank you. Goodbye, Mom. because it's not that far away. It's en route to the Southwark uh, tube. It's called the Prince William Henry. Um, but if you'd like to go, just go through and have a drink. We just need five minutes to clear up. Thank you very much. Anatole, I've got to go. It's, it's got a really big 